Welcome back to Andy's Guides. In today's video, we are going to show you how to create a folder in SharePoint. Let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials. If this is your first time in SharePoint, click the Create One option. And from here, just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go. Now, creating folders in SharePoint can be beneficial for several reasons. Primarily to organize and manage documents and files more effectively. Now, folders help organize documents and files into logical groupings based on projects, departments, teams, or categories. This makes it easier for users to locate specific information quickly without searching through a large list of documents. Now, from here, once you are on the... Uh, site that you are currently working on you have like um the left side has all of these options conversations documents shared with us notebook pages site contents recycle bin edit now when you go to the documents right here you would have an option to go for the uh, plus icon basically when i hover the mouse it gives you a notification window that you can create a folder or document in this location now i'm gonna click on new folder and I'm gonna put in now you can choose a color of your liking maybe we're looking for um, a blue one click on that and this is gonna be your uh, folder created by Andy guide a few seconds ago right now once you are here you can have an access to you see the three ellipses icon you can share you can copy link you can manage access you can delete can automate like rules request sign off create a rule and manage rules you can add some favorite add shortcut to OneDrive, download rename paint the top copy folder color again if you are not happy with the blue one and of course go to alert me and click on more properties workflow and details you have a lot of options when you first created your folders and if you're not happy with that you can share this item with other people and of course you can add shortcut to OneDrive and again you simply have to add another folder if you wanted if, uh, if you wanted to segregate some information from for the team for collaboration because um, SharePoint supports versioning at both a document library and folder levels all right that means it enables tracking and managing different versions of files within folders, facilitating collaboration and document history management. In that sense, you know what? Folders can be associated with specific type of contents and metadata, which adds additional context and attributes to the documents within them. If it's clear, it will Im help improve in searchability and categorization of information. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next one.